everybody. It's Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all doing well. Well, we're back with yet another map. And no, this time isn't Calmston. And I'm sure there's quite a lot of map reviews of Calmston going on right now. But in all of the news about that, Camille Mapping snuck out a new map. And it is Shellbrook Creek up in Saskatchewan in Canada. As Camille does, likes to stick with his Canadian maps. And it's pretty damn nice, I have to say. It is a four times map, so will be PC only, as Camille maps usually are. But we thought we would have a little bit of a look around it and uh, show you what's what. So this is the spawn point. Um, and as you can see over here, a rather large farm setup. Uh, lots of bins, lots of big sheds, lovely landscaping as well. He's used the landscaping tools brilliantly here. Nice to see that. Uh, so let's jump into the PDA quickly. Like I said, it is a four times map, so it is a nice size map with some rather chunky fields. It is a real location based uh, directly south of Shellbrook in uh, Saskatchewan. And you can just see the tip of the bottom of the uh, town at the top of the map there uh, and we go straight south from here here's what it looks like on google maps so you can see the similarities uh, now uh, you start here at this first farm uh, which is the biggest farm on the map and it is a predominantly well it is a grain farm at the moment obviously you can put animals in there if you want uh, but it starts off with none of that uh, again there's a second farm down here as well slightly smaller but again uh, focusing on arable and then your third farm over here has got some animals. And we're going to take a little bit of time popping over and checking those out. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we'll have a look at some of the fields as well. Uh, as you can see, the biggest one on the map there, number one, uh, coming in at $745,000. Uh, and then uh, most of the others around about 398 there, 373, um, 298, three three zero so you can see they're not uh, they're not so extortionate that you couldn't um do something with them um they're not up in the millions or anything like that crazy so we're uh, nice to see a little bit of flexibility smaller fields just here as well 231 32 slightly smaller and 37 uh, and these down the bottom there we go 24 is a very small little uh, field there so again options for you around the second farm to do uh, something different if you don't want to go with massive fields so a nice bit of flexibility there which is great to see now what we'll do just so you can get a little bit of a feel for some of the field sizes and things like that. We'll jump in this truck over here and we will drive down to the second farm. So we've started in uh, new farmer mode. So we'll have a look at the machinery you get to start with as well. Uh, but you roll out of here. Out of the farmyard. I was trying to get my bearings there. It's quite a long driveway from the farmyard. Head down here. So again, look, you can see the size of some of these relatively small nice size fields but then you've got some big big boys here as well so um really nice um expansive fields open space really good to see so we'll head down here through these trees quite a lot of trees on the map as well which is nice gives it a nice ambiance uh little undulations in the ground as well which is nice relatively flat but still got some uh some up and downs in it to give it some character um, and as you as you can see now we've been on this road for a little bit of time now driving along pretty uh, steadily at a decent speed you know up at 60 miles an hour plus and we are just now getting to the second farm so if I just pull in here off the road slightly and stop for a second you can see that that drive there is literally this this part of the map so we've driven from that road there down to this road here and you saw how long that took so it gives you a little bit of an idea for uh, the size of the map so we can just pull in here there is your grain silos nice little setup there you've got some storage silos over here and a slightly uh, smaller shed fuel over there as well but this is your i would say your smaller of the two arable farms but still nicely done and this little network of uh, tracks going off into the relevant fields that you own. And this is the one that has slightly smaller fields. Like I said, you've got the option here to uh, pick different field sizes. 
Um, you don't own these when you buy the map and you can buy them in all separate uh, entities. This is what you get when you do start a new farmer mode and that is field 14, 15, the very big field that we looked at just there. Uh, and then obviously the farmyard as well. But of course you can sell that pretty much straight away uh, and do what you want. Again, the flexibility, really, really good. Right, let's do a U-turn here. Let's head out from this farm. Let's head over and have a look at the dairy farm. In fact, just before we do that, I must roll over here because um, he does list some of the other modders that have helped him with the map, uh, as you can see here. Elk Mountain uh, Modding's beautiful house. Really, really nice. And the decor on the inside of this is fantastic as well. So in you go. Look at that. Superb. TV's on. Weather forecast looks good. Kitchen full of stuff. There you go. Very nice. Coffee's on. Uh, we'll run upstairs as well because um, what he's done, which is really nice. As well as your sleep trigger here. If you want to go to sleep. Uh, you can also head into the bathroom and you can get changed. I like that. Nice touch. Nice touch. Right, let's head out and let's head over to the cattle farm. So we're heading down to the most southerly point on the map, really. And what's interesting about this, this map, there is one main road that runs through the entire map so if i just jump back out here to show you this is the only real road on the map as you can see from one end of the map to the other there is another one that's running down this outside edge here uh, but there's no way of getting to that easily so this is really your main thoroughfare through the whole map um, and what we want to do here we can turn off to the side road here which will take us to the dairy farm um, but not a main road, definitely more of a back road here with dirt and uh, dust on it and little clumps of grass but look at the size of this uh, cornfield we're running alongside here really really nice and do you know what, they're not all big big square fields as well so um, there's a little bit of character in the shapes of the fields which is nice to see I do love all the trees and things really brings it home as to uh, being in keeping with the area definitely so we'll head down here like I said it feels like a long drive because we're on a four times map even though even the little wet kind of patches at the edge of the ground there very nice so as long as we keep going along here for a little bit further I think yes we've got to go to the end of this field and then we can head up I don't think we'll get any other choice it's not going to be a junction it's just going to be a 90 degree turn Again, gives you an idea for these fields. And you can see the farm in the distance there. That is a harvest store popping up, which points to the fact that there's animals in it. Uh, and there is the creek. There is Shellbrook Creek itself over in the distance, which is uh, what the name map is named after. But here we go. Here is our third... And final farm. Nice to just have three farms on. Although it's a big map, it is nice to have just three farms on. Not too overwhelming in terms of choices. But there we go. Farmhouse there. I'm going to just drive on the grass through here. Kind of a more of an old style barn there for storing hay in or straw. There's your pressure washer, water, diesel. That's the workshop actually. Um, cow barn there. And if we roll around here as well, there is the TMR mixer that we are actually using on uh, Greystone as well. Uh, there's cows, some cows in the field, static cows in the field there. Oh no, they're not, they're moving, there they go. So they are alive and kicking. I thought they were kind of your old-fashioned static cows, but no. We have got live cows in the field, so you get those when you start the game in new player mode. So that's interesting. Which probably means that's a good juncture to see actually what equipment you get in, uh, in new player mode. So if we go down to the garage down here. The only thing you get is a lizard pickup. How about that? You do not get any vehicles in new uh, farmer mode. That is interesting.
So, it's over to you. You can go shopping. You don't get much money either. 102,000. So you're going to have to spend wisely. There we go. Uh, more buildings. Silage. Bunker there. Storage points. Some kind of more traditional bins. Nice meridian bins there. Good to see. And back out onto the road. So what we'll do keep heading up here because I want to see where this road goes see if it can loop back around to uh, the top of the map because we're going to head to the town now and have a look at some of the cell points and uh, production points but you can see it's slightly different here smaller fields uh, probably more in keeping with a little bit of animal uh, of an animal farm uh, across the creek there so nice to see uh, the road goes north here but we can cut back across to the other road but we're going to keep heading up here uh, and just give you an idea of where we are on the map uh, we are bang center in the middle of the map there so with that road there it leads all the way back uh, to this point here now we will actually go and have a look at that that appears to be uh, a small uh, area grain elevator there so we'll go and have a look at that in a minute but we'll quickly first go and have a look at the uh, animal uh, buy and sell point up here I think this is our animal um, buy point. I think now I'm confused. No, this is yes, it is the animal deal. It looks a little bit like a farm here, which kind of threw me there. Uh, but this is the animal dealer. So this is where you buy your animals and uh, take them back to your farm. Right, let's head out. That's gonna we're gonna head back the way we came a little bit, and we're gonna do that cut through. Um, the road does keep going up here, so I'm just going to check and see uh, where that goes. Okay, looking at the PDA here, it looks like that road just disappears off and is access for those fields at the top and has uh, no other purpose. So what we'll do, we'll head back down to this junction here and we will cut over and check this out over here. Okay, here we are. We have just crossed over the creek there. You can see it winding off into the distance. Um, again, another massive field off to our right. A uh, slightly smaller field with corn in it off to our left. You can see the creek again. It does wind itself around here. And we will take this uh, right-hander and follow the road round the edge of the creek. On the other side, there it is again. And we'll just follow this road until we hit the main road again. So here we are coming up on the main road and what looks to be like a collection of buildings. Um, there is a shed there. We have got grain silos. Got ourselves a house here, an old fashioned barn. Try to work out what these are. There's an engine shed. This is actually what appears to be a bit more of a little farm. Yes, Ravenwood Farm. So again, another point. Looks like grain storage there. Some buy points here for, uh, um, I'm guessing, seed and fertilizer. Great to see. Uh, let's just jump out and have a look at these. We may even be able to buy these. Let's find out. A silo for seeds. There we go and a silo for fertilizer, currently empty, so you can buy those and use those for storage. So this is actually another farm. So a fourth farm on the map. I like it. Let's head round and out of here. So over the other side is your house. Nice old style uh, barn there. A windmill and uh, a placeable tractor and a shed. Can we open that shed? Let's just check and see if we can uh, use that shed or it's just for decoration. My money's on it just being for decoration. The fact that there's a tractor in front of it kind of makes it uh, a little bit difficult to get into. But yes, decoration we can pick up. Okay, back on the road. That to our right is the biggest field on the map. Uh, field one there. A little bridge going over the uh, stream there nice to see but this look at the size of that absolutely massive you can just see the animal dealer silo there's the animal dealer over there on the horizon right let's push on 
So here we are just rolling into the outskirts of the town. Some nice little houses here. To our left and our right. Makes this feel nice and, and lived in, which is really nice to see. Now the, the main part of the town is off to our right down here where most of the uh, industry and stuff is. We'll head down there in a little minute. What we're going to do first is just run up here because what we've got round to our left here is the dealership not that that is uh, GEA Technologies probably another dealer uh, but just a placeable and here is where our dealership is so John Deere dealership I'm guessing this is our uh, area where vehicles will spawn once we've purchased them but you can see lots of combines and vehicles lying around. It's nice to see stuff like that. It's not just an empty open yard. There's stuff in it. So there you go. That is your dealership. And then just along here is where your biogas plant will be. So if you do want to do um, silage on this map or if you want to sell your slurry or manure, this is where you will do it. So now we've seen that, let us roll back through here and head into town. So just crossing the main road here, past this house. Now along here, what have we got first? Now, look what's on the side of those tanks. Yep, this is another map that has got an Hydrus built into it. It is great to see the mappers embracing this. And I know uh, friends of the channel, um, Ford Agricultural Modding, have been testing things with Camille to make sure that the anhydrous works. And I know they've got some mods coming very soon. There is your lime fill point as well. There is your liquid fertilizer fill point. So lots and lots of uh, areas where you can top up on the necessaries. Now inside here as well is your uh, fill point, I think, for... Um, dry fertilizer so drive through and fill up at the spout there very nice so there we go let's drive out of here now just round here there is the community baseball pitches the Shellbrook Knights are here as well and then you're into some of the factory placeables as well so there we go the grain mill here drive over and unload there. If we cut through here, we've got some of the other elements of the bakery there. What we've got through here, I know I'm driving through this yard uh, but we've got um, the bakery, let me just remind myself of what we've got here as well. We have got the bakery fast food restaurant behind that, that's the great processing unit and supermarket so again, all sell points that you can utilise the grain mill here as well, cereal factory a dairy as well and then over here we've got the oil mill and carpentry uh, biomass as well uh, and debris crusher and a grain elevator as well so lots and lots and lots of productions and it appears that you own all of these straight away so you can start to take advantage of those straight off the bat so good to see good to see right if I reverse out of here and head along this road a few more things just to show you so over on the right there there is your big grain silo cooperative cell point there is your rock crusher that we talked about just a minute ago um, some placeable sheds here again I don't think these are operational we'll just jump out though and do a double check no these don't look like they're working sheds just there for placement. We'll pull away here and we will just scoot round, check on these final few things. Right on the edge of the map now here. In fact, this road goes to nowhere. This goes to the edge of the map, so we're going to have to turn around and head back the other way. So in the end there, we just snuck through the trees a little bit, just so you can see these final fill points. So there you go, timber time is your furniture production point. 
And if I spin around here, there is your biomass plant as well. So that's those. And again, head along here. We have got the oil factory. And next to that, you're back into the cooperative there. And the grain cell point. Great to see. That's the way your seeds are as well. If you want to purchase seed, you can purchase it from the Pioneer Seed Cell Point as well. And then we are back to the two baseball grounds. With the farm fields right up to them as well. Right, let's not run that person over. That would be not very good. Um, okay. Let's just run over here and down a little bit because there's a couple of other things for you to see. Before we finish things off here. Out onto the road. There is another junction around to our right here. Again, mostly placeables now. But it's nice for you to be able to see them. So a fuel station here. Some lovely houses. All uh, giving this a whole sense of being lived in. And having a bit of character, which is nice to see. The way the trees are placed is nice as well. It doesn't feel too, uh, too regimented. And we'll head down to the end here. And really... We've run out of road here and this turns into farmer's fields. So just a turning point down here and there you go. Another rather massive field in field number five. You can see the uh, productions down there and then a big field in front of you. And as you can see if we just jump to the mini map there we're at field six which on the map doesn't look like a huge field but when you see it in front of you that's a pretty big field. That is a pretty big field. So there you go. That is Shellbrook Creek by Camille mapping his first uh, FS22 map. And I really, really like it. I'm, I've got to say the field sizes are big enough uh, to make this feel like a massive, massive map. Uh, a four times map is always nice to see. I love the fact that Anhydrous is on it as well. Um, and just the way that uh, the trees are placed and the, and the, the very subtle uh, rolling uh, countryside and the contours of the land make it work really, really well. Um, Performance-wise, it really is doing well. Look at the draw distance on this and it is performing great at the moment, I have to say. I've had no issues with it. So um, I'm really excited. This is somewhere I could see myself spending a bit of time for sure. Um, I hope you like this. This is out. This is already out. This is on Camille's Facebook page. Go check it out now. It is a PC only map, obviously being four times with Anhydrous and Camille's known for creating only PC uh, only maps. So there you go. Shellbrook Creek uh, for FS22 by Camille Mapping. I think it's a really, really nice and a fairly big map. Should keep you busy for a while. I have been the Farm Sim Guy, thank you very very much for watching and I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.